contact, Carlos. hits for average. Dennis but one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. Right side. And that one handled. And a couple of oh. quick outs. Now the third baseman, Munitaka Murakami. Munitaka Murakami. That misses the zone, and that is ball one. They're so reliant on the matchups nowadays, Chris, and it's huge when you don't have to sit a guy or platoon him. When you can hit you know, both sides in terms of pitcher's arms, you're a guy that it's hard to take out of the lineup, and I think it's very important today when everything is under the microscope. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And Ricky Henderson to grab. And that is that. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. There's a strike. Late that time, and it's strike two. Right side, hard hit. Gathers and throws to first. One gone, bottom half of the first. Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. Third baseman. There's a strike. Some nuggets on Jazz Chisholm. He's from the Bahamas, and he was born in 1998. Signed with the Diamondbacks in 2015. Before he could make his major league debut, though, Arizona traded Jazz to Miami for Zach Gallen. He made his debut the following season, and then in 2022, he became an all-star. And the pitch. That clips the corner. He also became the first player from the Bahamas to play a game at shortstop in the bigs since Andre Rogers in 1967. You know, Rogers was the first big leaguer from the Bahamas. Started to play shortstop for the Cubs when Ernie Banks moved to first base. He goes down looking. Here's Mike Trout. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Pitch misses inside. 1-0. and oh. And it's through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. He was all over that, that one. There's nothing cheap about nothing the way he got that one through the infield. That was ripped. Caught out in front and... Didn't get under it like he would have liked, but definitely put a good swing on it. Next to hit, Luke Gary. There's a strike. Nice warm day here, good baseball weather. Does that change anything, Chris, especially for the hitters? Absolutely. You feel so much more comfortable at the plate. You're not worried about you know, getting jammed on fastballs inside part of the plate. The tag, and they got him. And that'll do it. New inning getting started. Now it's Devers at the plate. Pryor back to work. And Devers hits that one. Hunter has it sized up. He's there. He's got it. And there's one down. Out towards left center. Hunter has it sized up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's two down. This lineup's going to have to find a way to make him work a little harder out there on the mound. I mean, he is just mowing him down. He's settling in. you got to make him uncomfortable. Maybe step out of the box, call timeout, do whatever it takes. Chisholm makes the grab on the run. Welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Tory Hunter. And he deals. On the ground to the left. And it goes just foul. High fly ball out to center field. Chisholm, long run. Balls it in, and there's one away. And now the big time power threat, Jonah Heim. A switch hitter batting right. Hit hard, that gets through. Back. 
Munitaka Murakami will hit next. And that one hammered Santander moving back for him. Still going back. Feeling for the wall as he makes the catch. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Francisco Lindor in the box now. No balls and a strike. Singy, where are you on F1 racing? Are you a fan? Haven't gotten there yet, but I will at some point. Francisco Lindor, a big fan of F1 racing. Well, got to pause on that thought. As that Back here in Philadelphia, and now, Yoan Moncada. Prior, back to work. That one missed. Moncada hitting seventh in today's lineup, and he was born in Cuba. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. Hunter has it sized up, makes the catch, and there's one gone. Outside of the United States, Cuba has more players and representatives in Cooperstown than any other country. Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic are close behind. Ricky Henderson in the box now as he leaves that one up high. Fly ball down the line. Trout sizing it up. Brings it in. And there are two down. And that one fouled off. And the 0-1. And right back to the mound. Fires over to first. And that is that. And welcome back. Here's Cattell Marte. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The big lefty turns, kicks, deals. Strike two. Good pitch right there. Tied him up on the hands. If I'm out there on the bump, I'm going right back in there. Next offering is downstairs. The wind to kick the pitch. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. And a pitch. Fights that one away. Still one and two. The pitch. Caught him looking for the K. Back to the top of the lineup. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Ricky Henderson. That's out to center field. Chisholm under it. Makes the catch. Two down. And stepping in is the speedy Jazz Chisholm Jr. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. You know, it's no surprise that Jazz Chisholm Jr. is good at baseball. His grandmother, Patricia Copley, actually played shortstop for the Bahamian National Softball Team. And get this, she didn't retire until her 60th birthday. She started to play soft toss with Jazz when he was only two years old. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. And that's in there for strike one. Trout, 31 years old, and he's usually in center, but today starting at right. Next one misses, and now it's even one and one. Well, less responsibility for him today, making the move from being the captain of the outfield to moving to right field. So he can let his center fielder take those balls in the gap and kind of like a little day off. Chisholm leads off first with two down to the inning. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Two outs. Swings and misses, struck him. Back here in Philadelphia, now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Now the right-hander ready to go, still no score. Swung on, belted. And it's off the wall. Henderson hustles it back in. They hold the runner at second, so another base hit could get us our first run in this one. Go ahead, run on base. Carlos Santana digs in now. And first offering is fouled off. No outs, runner on second. That's in for a strike at 95. That's strike two. 
Ball one there. Oh. Well, here's a good opportunity in this right inning here. to get on the scoreboard after that leadoff hit. And part of the order coming up right behind them. This is where they need to get going. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Murakami, the next to hit, takes low for a ball. Now a rip into left center. And a base hit. Lindor zipping around third. He'll score easily. On the board first, it's one zip. Comes through with the RBI. Just a really nice approach to shoot that line drive to the opposite field. There's a lot of hard work and discipline that goes into getting a result like that at the plate. Doesn't come naturally for most hitters. Swing and a miss. One and, one. and it's one and one. Chris, you ready for a nugget? Ready. Rafael Devers homered in three straight games against the Get Yankees the before he turned 21. The only other Two player one. to do that, Babe Ruth. That one ripped right center field. That's back there. In one hops off the wall, should be extra bases. Murakami coming home. The relay throw. Not in time, he scores. It's 2 nothing. Here's Aloy Jimenez. And first offering is fouled off. Still only one out here in the inning. Comes up empty on the swing. Only oh, two now. Righty delivers. Good eye in that spot. It's a good take. Fouls it off, still one and two. Runner at second here, one gone. Next pitch inside, and the count is even two and two. hit right side and he handles it himself for the out well he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball good execution and first offering is fouled off kicks and fires and a big swing and a miss I know they've gotten out to an early lead, but you don't want to take these opportunities for granted. With two outs, still lock in with a quality at bat, drive in that run. You may... And now this is down for a base hit. In comes the runner from third, and they're up by three. And into second easily with a two-out double. Well, he found himself behind in the count right there, but he didn't give in. They got a pitch he could drive, but he didn't get too excited like a lot of guys do and pull off the baseball. Really good timing all the way through the swing, and the barrel was so on plane with the ball. Easy drive into the gap for that double. And now Yohan Moncada in the air, out towards left center, and it's caught. And that will end the inning. Bottom of the inning, and here's the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. The first baseman, Lou. And the pitch. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And a quick out, number one. Here's some real power at the plate. Torrey Hunter. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, he's looking great so far. It helps when over 80% of your first pitches are strikes. He might be able to go the distance if he keeps this up. Next offering misses, and that's ball one. That one, 95 to finish him off. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim. In the air, right side. Santander makes the grab, and that's the third out. 
back here at the ballpark. We go to the top of the fifth. Now the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. Ricky. The pitch. Henderson. Swing and a miss, strike one. Okay. And if there's one man you want to keep off the base paths, it's this guy right here, Ricky Henderson, the undisputed stolen base king. And that one is lifted in the air. Makes the grab after a long run. And there's one down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes of balls in the gaps. They practice this, and when the game comes, they make the play perfectly. And first offering is fouled off. And Singy Ricky's 1,406 career steals is a record that may stand forever. The active leader in career steals isn't even a quarter of the way to that number. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. And with the extreme crowd to that batting stance, Ricky made pitchers work. His strike zone was as small as it gets. He's looking to get on base any way he can because he knows a single is a triple. Snags it for the second out. Out to center. Hunter has it sized up. Puts the squeeze on it. And that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the DH, Munitaka Murakami. The pitch. A swing and a miss. Well, these guys, as this game goes on, have to be more disciplined at the plate. Chasing pitches has been a big part of the story. We've seen it quite a bit today. It's been tough for them to make contact at times, and it just doesn't look like they're seeing it very well as a group. Now fly ball to right center. Chisholm makes the grab one down. And on the mound, you know confidence has to be pretty high with all of the swings and misses. He's had him eaten out of the palm of his hand pretty much all game. Lindor batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Oh, and two as he waves at that one. Here comes a pitch. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Chisholm giving chase. Calls it in for the out. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. Liner, base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there against good pitchers. Got to take advantage of the mistakes. That was right in his wheelhouse, and he didn't miss a stitch. And here is Ricky Henderson. Way back there. That ball has just been voted off the island. He flexes his power with that swing, and they slice into the lead. It's 3-2. Two outs, base is empty. And now Jazz Chisholm Jr. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh And that's in the dirt. The one, two. Got it by him for the K. All set for the start of the inning. And now the switch hitting catcher, Carlos Santana. And the right hander back to work. In the air, left field, down the line. Chisholm racing over to make the catch. Now it's going to be Munitaka Murakami. One for two. On the ground, right side. Whips it to first. And a couple of quick outs. Good fade and sinking action of that changeup. Got that hitter to roll over. Devers, in his sixth season, 26 years old, 
and he was born in the Dominican Republic. And first offering is fouled off. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. Now on the bump, Jose Alvarado. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. That one misses in the dirt. And a ball and two strikes. Swings through it, and that's... And now batting Mike Trout. Singy, you got to appreciate a guy who's this good defensively. I mean, watching him track balls in the outfield, it is beautiful. The wind of the pitch. That misses the zone, and it's 1-0. Oh. Check swing, went around. Strike one. And now the lefty. And that one just missed off the outside edge. Two and one. Pitch misses. And now three balls and a strike. Fought off foul. And here it comes. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. Well, he earned his trip to first right there. It's not easy laying off pitches that just missed the zone like that. And it's a real discipline as well. He's put a lot of work into that aspect of his game, and it paid off right there. Garrick in the box now. Takes strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering is in for a strike at the belt and fires. And now one and two. Well, he's not afraid to fall into a two-strike count. Knows the strike zone very well, so much so that I think umpires will look at him and determine whether it's a ball or strike, if he swings or not. The pitch just misses with that one. Home plate umpires trying to tighten things up a little bit. On the ground, two ball. Lindor, that's one. Relay to first, double play. Dory Hunter, the next to hit. Just missed. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Next pitch misses. Two and one. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. The wind of the pitch. And that's outside. And down on strikes. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. We go to the top of the seventh. Aloy Jimenez now. First pitch swinging. You know, this group of hitters, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Next offering down in the dirt. And he deals. Set down on strikes. Throws him with the heater at the knees. Anthony Santander at the plate. First offering misses the mark. And a foul ball. And a pitch. So, a foul ball makes it one and two. One down, base is empty. Foul ball still, a one and two count. And a pitch. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. 
So they get a man aboard with a one-out single. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. Just a simple ground ball the other way. They had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. One down. Here is Moncada. And he swings and misses, oh, yeah. and it's nothing in one. Now this is in the air down the line. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. And there's two away. Ricky Henderson getting ready to hit. Got to be careful with a slugger like this because he can turn it into a three-run game in the blink of an eye. Hard hit, left field, base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. And now the center fielder, Jazz Chisholm Jr. Ripped on the ground a second. In time to Gehrig. That's the third out. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the... Back at Citizens Bank Park, bottom of the seventh. And here's the catcher, Jonah Heim. Yeah. Going one. Now one and one. One and one. The tying run at the plate. One away. Next is the designated hitter, Munitaka Murakami. Swing and a miss. One one. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Here's Francisco Lindor. You're a if you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. In the air, out to center, Chisholm drifts towards it, makes the grab for the second out. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. Just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Up the middle, and it gets by him. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from. And there's just no one there to knock it down. Now a move being made for a pinch hitter, Rafael Devers. Looking for a big hit with two out runners at first and second. Next offering is down low. Big spot. Two out. Both the tying and go-ahead runs are a bull. Man, I'm pretty impressed out there on the mound right now. I mean, these are tough spots where pitchers really got to bear it out. Those last two pitches were well executed. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Fuck, man. Back here in Philadelphia, ready to begin the eighth. Stepping in is the switch hitting shortstop, Francisco Lindor. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch. In the air, right center field. This is demolished. Way back and gone. Francisco Lindor sent it out. And they add to the lead. It's 4-2. Carlos Santana now at the plate. Pitching change here, Camilo Doval. Pretty tight game, so they're looking for quality pitches out of him right here. Got to do his best to keep the score right where it is. And a foul ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. And that gets down for a base hit. Just kind of slice that one into center. A couple of hits in a row for him here. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. 
He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Yeah, the batter now, Munitaka Murakami. Santana aboard here at first with nobody out. Ground ball right side could be two. Marte throws the first in time. First out in the top of the eighth. That's what a good sinker is designed to do. Get a guy to roll over a little bit, hit the ball on the ground, kill some worms while you're at it. Next pitch is popped up. Heim falls it in for the out. And there's two down. Beloy Jimenez will hit next. And he dodges that fastball. Runner at second, two down. In the air to left center. Hunter has it sized up. And he makes the catch. And that ends the inning. Welcome back. And now it's going to be Jazz Chisholm Jr. Williams back to work. Swings and misses. And that's strike one. Gets him to chase after that one. The next pitch misses. Now one and two. That's hard hit on the line. Puts it away for the out. Here's Trout. Swings through that one. 0 oh and 1. That's a little bit low. Gonna count one and two. Fooled on that pitch, got a little anxious, and now in a two strike count, he's gonna have to widen out his stance, choke up on the bat, and really make sure he has pitch recognition before pulling the trigger. Swing and a miss for the strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. He swings and fouls one off. Ball in one now. Oh, and a foul ball. Next pitch inside, and the count is one and two. Looking very settled on the mound here in the eighth. One more out, but oh. probably handed off to their closer for the ninth. Yeah. And there's the third out. That'll. Oh my God. Back here oh in Philadelphia, me. we go to the ninth. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Anthony Santander. The pitch. Swings and crushes one. Right field, way back and gone. Anthony Santander knocks one out, okay, and nah, they add man. a run. It's 5-2. Devin Williams into the game. He's being eased into the game here with the bases empty. Here is Yohan Moncada. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Next one misses. One and two to count. One, two. Swing and a miss struck him out. Here's the left fielder, Ricky Henderson. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Garrett grabs it on the run. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Oh, Chisholm, right. now in the box, comes up empty with a swing there. Next pitch is downstairs. Swing and a miss. And welcome back. Here's the center fielder, Tory Hunter. And the pitch. The bit behind with that swing. Oh, it's strike one. Right Smith, a 6'6 six, six righty. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a cutter, and occasionally uses a forkball. They say it went. Pumpkin enough.
Chisholm moving under this one. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one away. And the batter now, Jonah Heim. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Late with the swing there. Ah. Just amazing to me how many closers and back end relievers just throw absolute gas these days. I never would have had a chance. And a 2 1 on the way. This one lifted in the air, left field. And Ricky Henderson, the grab. Two away down. So they're down to their final out. And now the DH, Munitaka Murakami. One for three. First pitch just misses. Good eye right there. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. And a swing and a miss there. Guy out there sees a power hitter take that kind of swing. He's got to be thinking. Is this guy trying to set me up? Now let's see if he can make an adjustment. Here comes a 3-2. And a swing and a miss, and that is the ball game. And your final score, 5-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew, I'm John Chompy saying so.
now. Stepping in the long ball threat, Ricky Henderson. The left fielder, Ricky Henderson. pitch that's inside and with that we're underway in the Bronx pumpkin relax man good eye right there Check swing, but he went too far. That is strike two. And the righty deals. Bounced up the middle. On the run, throw to first. Oh, Safe! Jazz Chisholm Jr. now. That misses the zone. Yeah, that's ball one. Ball one, no strike. Swing and a miss. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You got to make sure that you feel the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. White has this one sized up. Then there's one down. Here's Mike Trout. The right fielder. Mike Trout, the 25th overall pick in the 2009 draft. He was actually a compensation pick for the Angels for the free agent loss of Mark Teixeira when he signed with the New York Yankees. Next offering is foul back. Henderson at first, one gone. No trouble here, puts it away for the out. And there's two down. And now here is Lou Gehrig. Oh, On the ground to short, Lindor. They take the force out, and that is that. Back in the Bronx. Here's a big power threat. Curtis Granderson. The center fielder. Curtis Granderson. The wind and the pitch. Swings through that. 0 and 1. They say it went. 0 2 is the count. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. And next is the designated hitter, Lou Gehrig. Swings through that one. 0-1. Oh, one, one. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Left-hand hitter waits. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. And now it's Frankie Lindor. Swing and a miss. One, one. Strike one. And he flips a breaking ball in there. Or a changeup. Either one. <laughs> Something off speed. Good arm action on it. Whatever it was. Back at Yankee Stadium. And now here's a speed threat. Outfielder. Tory Hunter. The right-hander back to work. That one in there, across the left. There's. Fastball almost got him there. Swing and a miss. One and two.
right-hander deals. Granderson ranging into the alley. And it's caught for the out. Now the catcher up to hit, Jonah Heim. Number 28, Jonah Heim. First pitch, not close. Second inning here, no score. Fouled off, he was late. The one, two. White makes the grab, two down. Here's some real power at the plate. Munitaka Murakami. Munitaka Murakami. That hits the dirt, and that is ball one. And it drops in. Really nice job staying inside with his hands to fight off that pitch. Man, that cover was bearing in on him, but he found a way to stay with his approach, didn't spin off it, and he hit it pretty well. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Oh. Catcher tosses the mask, settles under it. He's got it, and that is out number three. Bottom of the second, and here's Paul Goldschmidt. The first baseman. Chris Paul Goldschmidt has turned into a really good player for a guy who was an eighth round pick in 2009 at a Texas State. Many all star appearances, silver sluggers, and then in 2022, an MVP. Why the kick the pitch? And now the count one and two after the swing and the miss. Yeah, and several years he was in the running for MVP, just some better talent in the league at that time. But I love the combo of a real solid hitter at the plate, but also a guy with some speed that can steal some bases. A little surprising for a first baseman. Here's Nolan Arenado. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Bounce to third. And they get Arenado for the out. Fell off to a great start. He's really cruising out there on the mound. He's got a chance to get through these first two innings with under 20 pitches. That could set him up to go deep into this game. Bryce Harper, the batter now, as he swings and misses for strike one. Swings through that one. A pitch started in and ended up on the outside edge, just changing planes and very difficult. Swings through it for the K. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Back in New York, here's the second baseman, Cattell Marte. Cueto, back to work. A little out front there as he swings through it. That one is absolutely belted. White going back, back some more, back some more. Didn't quite have enough. Now it's the power speed combo. Ricky Henderson reached on an infield single his first time. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Slow ground ball to the right side. And foul ball. Righty to the plate. minutes on the move and puts the squeeze on that two away jazz chisholm jr the next to hit 
He's yeah. old. For one. Chisholm Jr. Chisholm batting second in today's lineup. He's usually in the outfield, but today he's starting at third. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0 and 1. Yeah, to watch your lips, you better be ready. They don't call it the hot corner for nothing. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Right hander kicks deals. On the ground, Jimenez. In plenty of time to first, and it's a 1 2 3 inning. in the Bronx. Now it's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. Here comes a pitch. Swings through the fastball up in the zone. Well, these guys definitely being aggressive at the plate, but I think it's fair to wonder if they're being a little over-aggressive. <coughs> specifically talking about the first pitch. These guys are swinging more than 80% of the time, which is fine if you're scoring runs, but that hasn't been the case today. Deal two. Spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another. Deal two. Swing and a miss. Couldn't hit the fastball at the knees. So digging in, Christian Bethencourt. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Swings through oh, that one. 0 oh, and 1. Bethencourt goes 6 feet 3 inches, 31 years old, and he was born in Panama. Foul ball. Got him swinging for the strikeout. Couldn't catch up to the heater. Digging in, it's the speedy outfielder, Eli White. Swing and a bouncer, Garrett. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx, start of the fourth, here's a speed threat, Mike Trout. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to shape. This one swung on and hit well. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot. Turned around and made a nice catch. Garrett in the box with one away as he takes ball one. Swing and a miss as he was late. And Garrick hit cleanup for that famed Murderer's Row lineup as the Yankees were rolling off one World Series title after another. And another ball. Garrick hit behind Babe Ruth in those Murderer's Row days. They both have tons of power, but their home runs had much different trajectories. And a strike. While Ruth hit these high, towering fly balls out of the park, Garrett just crushes line drives into the stands. I mean, he hit absolute bullets. Granderson turns, moving to his left. He makes the grab, and that quickly two away. And stepping in is the speedy Tory Hunter. Pitch is in there. That's strike one. In the air, right field. Harper has a beat on it. Makes the grab, and that's the inning. Back here in New York, ready to go. Bottom Here's the center fielder, Curtis Granderson. And here it comes. He was late there, strike one. Oh, and two now. 
swings and misses. It's a strikeout. The high heat, too much on that one. Now it's the DH, Lou Gehrig. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And there's a foul ball. One down, base is empty. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Well, it looks like he just got out of himself a little bit right there. He's looking for a ball in, and to attack that pitch, looked like a half-hearted swing. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Francisco Lindor comes up to the plate. Lindor. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Francisco Lindor, a guy who's won multiple gold gloves and a platinum glove, multiple all-star appearances. Mr. Smile, what do you think of when you contemplate the player Francisco Lindor? Just a special talent, both sides of the ball, both sides of the plate. Ah, threw it by him. A swing and a miss at the fastball to end the inning. Back now in the Bronx. Ready now for the fifth inning. Here's the power hitting catcher, Jonah Heim. Singing four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. The 1-1. One, one. Makes the grab one away. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day and he looked at me, he said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees, playing in New York. And first offering is fouled off. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Strike two. Next pitch is in the dirt. Ball one. Can't get their base hit. He's in at second with a one-out double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. He somehow got to that outside pitch and pulled it hard into the outfield. Not exactly what you're supposed to do with that kind of location, but... You wouldn't know it by how the ball came off his bat. Man at second. Harper has a beat on it. Two down. Could tell Marte up to the plate. Hit it well, but fly it out to the deepest part of the outfield his first time. Just off the outside part of the plate. And that one finds its way through. And they strike first as they take a 1-0 lead. Everything came together for him. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield. So I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Stepping in, Ricky Henderson. Harper puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. <laughs> Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Leading off, Paul Goldschmidt. The pitch. And a good fastball to start him off. That's strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. Swings and misses, struck him out. Here's Nolan Arenado. Grounded out his first time up. Nolan Arenado, for all of the success he's had at the plate and all the all-star appearances, 
Singy, he's won the gold glove every year that he has been in the league. He's going to go down as one of, if not the greatest defensive third baseman of all time. Swings and misses. Some high cheese for strike three. Here's Bryce Harper. His first at bat was a strikeout. Well, he's one of those players, if you're on the opposing team, you essentially say, don't hit it to third. Don't even try to bunt it to third because you're going to be out. He is that prolific as a third baseman. Hit on the ground to the right side. He'll do it himself. Oh. Inning over. Welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Now the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr., The wind of the pitch. That's a strike, and that is strike one. Some guys are just more confident. They can track that first pitch out of the hand of the pitcher. They don't care if they fall behind 0-1. Next offering way off the plate. Kicks and deals. That misses the zone, and it's 2-1. and one. The pitch on the ground, right side, and he's out on the tag. And now batting Mike Trout almost drove one out of here last time up, wide out to the warning track. Wow, Harper has a beat on it. He's got it, and there's two away. And now the first baseman, the first baseman Lou Gehrig. Lou Gehrig. And fouled off. Goes without saying, one of the biggest legends of the game here in Gehrig. Probably the greatest first baseman of all time. And it's one and one. In 1929, Gehrig slashed 300, 431, 584. Not too bad, right? Well, that was maybe the worst season of his career. Tells you about what kind of player he was. The pitch. Got him swinging. Back at Yankee Stadium. Well, we go bottom six. Here's Andres Jimenez. Willis back to work. Well, the guy's throwing a lot of first pitch strikes as a hitter. You got to be ready to hit. Now, that's not going to help you get deep into his pitch count and into the bullpen, but you got to take what he's offering that day. Left hand batter waits. Got him looking. That's a strikeout. Here's the catcher, Christian Bethencourt. Three-pitch strikeout last time up. Got to put up more of a fight in this one. And he chases a high fastball there. Boog, over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there in the mound. Strike two. Pretty frugal guy. He is very efficient with the pitch count in this one. Got him swinging. Pulled the string on the changeup. Eli White getting ready to hit. 0 for 1. He grounded out to first his last time. Bunting, and it's in the air. Chisholm brings it in with a nice running grab. And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Tory Hunter. The center fielder, Tory Hunter. And a pitch. And it's fouled away. The 01. Jimenez makes the play, and there's one down. Here's the catcher to hit, Jonah Heim. 
Foul ball there. Deal one. In the air to left, down the line. White under it. Calls it in, two away. So two down now, and here is Munitaka Murakami. Murakami. Makes the grab. That is the inning. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the traditional seventh inning. Bottom of the inning. Now here is Curtis Granderson. And the pitch. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on. See if you can get a stolen base. Maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. And now the lefty. Swing and a miss. And he is down on strikes for the third straight at bat. Next is the designated hitter, Lou Gehrig. And first offering is fouled off. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. And it's quickly nothing in two on the designated hitter. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. That's out number two. Now up to hit Francisco Lindor. Who's over two with a pair of strikeouts. And that one fouled off. Oh, he's got to be pretty proud of this outing so far. Sometimes guys cower coming into a ballpark like this, but he's attacked hitters. Pitching on the road like this is very impressive. This has been a treat to watch. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. It's an immaculate inning. Back at Yankee Stadium, we go to the eighth. Here's Francisco Lindor. Francisco Lindor. And a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. And ball one. The next offering misses. Two and one. Foul ball. And now it's filled up. This is a really good feeling for a hitter. At this point in the ball game, you know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. Damn, come on. 2.5. Bullshit, man. On a line, base hit. Off to a good start with a leadoff dot. 2.5, and then I hit one after. I'm sure he feels really good about that one. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. He stayed balanced through the entire swing and just launched that one into center. Marte into second, and he's got a double. Seems like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. Loud contact leads to the double. I mean, you could tell it had extra bases written all over it as it jumped off of his stick. Lindor at third. Marte stands at second. No outs. Bounce to the left side. You know, this group of hitters digging into their numbers have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent hard contact 
that's almost always going to lead to positive results. Granderson right there to make the grab. Runner tags for home. Lindor hung up in a rundown now between third and home. He thought about tagging, but heads back to third. Here's the third baseman, Jazz Chisholm Jr. That pitch in for a strike. And it's 0-1. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the south would say. Insurance. Oh, no matter how you say it, we know what you mean. The 0-2. And he grounds one to the right side. There for the out. Runner scores from third. Now Trout gets a chance to hit. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. And first offering is fouled off. At the belt and fires. And that one fouled off. Two outs with a runner at third. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. And a swing and a miss. Down Damn. on strikes. Inning ends, and that stops yeah. the bleeding. Back for more from the Bronx. Here's Paul Goldschmidt. Not a single base runner through the first seven innings for these guys. They've had no answer. You know, he's been so great today. Really just throwing whatever the catcher puts down. I mean, hasn't shaking off the catcher very much at all today kicks and fires chases the fastball up the ladder struck him out now so up next nolan arenado still a ways to go but this is can't miss stuff right now Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. Henderson going back. Grabs it right up against the wall. Man, he's getting really close to this thing right now. Only four outs left, but it's going to be tough to get. Harper at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Comes up empty on the swing. 0-2 oh, now. And a good eye there. Boog, it looks like somebody missed the swing sign. That's the first pitch this team's taken for a ball all game long. Can't connect on the curveball strike. Back to the Bronx. All set to start the ninth in this one. And here's the first baseman, Lou Gehrig. Doval back to work. Fought off foul. Doval in his second season. He features a slider, a cutter, and he works in a sinker. The 0-1 is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. And there's a ball. Gets a piece and stays alive. Got it. And he's down on strikes. For the second time today. Now at the plate, Tory Hunter. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. One gone runner at first. And now the catcher comes up to him. Jonah Heim in there for strike one. The minutes. Fires to second for one, and it's his double play to end the inning. Back here in New York, here's the second baseman, Andres Jimenez. And all eyes on the mound as he begins the ninth inning, working on a perfect game. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Boog, I'll tell you right now, every player defensively on their toes like never before. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. They want to make sure they have the opportunity to put this pitcher in the history books. They're going to make the play. 
goes down swinging for the strikeout chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three so digging in Christian Bethencourt first offering and it just misses swings and misses and it's a ball to strike And strike two. Just an outstanding job of spinning the baseball, moving it around, doing what he does. Next offering misses. Two balls, two strikes. The pitch. Hit on a line, and that's a base hit. And that ends the perfect game bid. Safely into second, he's got a double. He was all over that one. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. White swings through it for strike one. Strike two. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit it's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Curtis Granderson digs in now. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Going one. Going one. And that's Rick for a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores, and they trail by one. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you love seeing those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. That one missed. Here's the pitch. Run around the goal. Swing and a miss. Yeah. Puts the tag on him, and that's the inning. Terrific job in this game. He scattered right. two hits and pretty dominant. Efficient with his pitch count. Got himself all the way to the finish line and finished right. what he started. And your final score here today, 2-1. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, <laughs> I'm John...
the left fielder, Harold Baines. For the demon, the left fielder, Harold Baines. The wind and the pitch. That one off the mark, and we are underway. Swing and a ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Wasn't able to elevate that one, but he sure hit it hard enough to get through the infield. There's not a whole lot of time for the defenders to react and try to make a play when it's ripped like that. Hunter Renfro at the plate. This one blasted deep to left. Way out of here. Home run. Hunter Renfro hits one out. And that gives him a lead. It's 2-0. Bryce Harper to the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Keller, he's the kind of starter that a lot of pitching coaches and managers as well really appreciate. Not a guy who's going to get himself into trouble by dancing around by walking guys. Yeah, he throws strikes. And, you know, he's got the command to be in the zone, be effective. But just moving the ball around, getting the ball back from the catcher boot, and throwing the pitch. One and two. And the righty deals. It's an interesting oh. thing when you consider limiting walks. Is it more important today because of how many home runs are being hit? No doubt. Keeping guys off the base pass with the way the swings and the launch angles are today, the emphasis of hitting home runs is so huge. It's never been more important. Still two and two after the foul ball. Yeah, I think the other part, though, as well, is it goes both ways because I think that guys at times are more than willing to give up walks because they'll come back and strike the next guy out. Calls it in, and there's one away. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Joe Torrey. Number nine, Joe Torrey. And first offering is fouled off. And a pitch to the right side. Mazeroski throw on to first. And that's an out. Now it's Marcus Simeon. Up the middle. Oh, great stop. And he beats it with room to spare. Definitely use that speed tool of his right there. It wasn't even close. And now they've got some speed on first. So we'll see if they try to get him into motion. So they turn to the lefty in this spot, Zach Britton. And this guy can bring it velocity-wise. Keith Hernandez stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Simeon runs. Next offering is fouled back. Simeon off of first with two away. That's off the mark. Ball two. Baseball runs of the family for Zach Britton. His brother Buck has been a minor league manager in the Orioles system since 2018. Rudder goes again. Rips that one to right. Harper settles under it and makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the first. Here's some real power at the plate. Cedric Mullins. And he deals. Just missed. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Way inside, gets out of the way. Here's a 2 1. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire didn't give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Baines makes the play, and there's one away. So up next, Jerry Hairston Jr. Ground ball up the middle. Fires over to Hernandez. 
two up, two down. Well, when we talk about how the ball is coming out of the pitcher's hand, the way it comes out of his hand as an infielder, wow, really impressive. Fraley checks his swing, appeal to third, and he held up. Lifted in the air, right center field. Yastrzemski makes his way towards it. Brings it in for the third out. Just missed it. Top of the second. Here's the shortstop at the play. Jerry Hairston Jr. Fouled off. He was late. Johan Duran on the pitch out of the pen here. And this could be a pretty critical point in this game. They're hoping he's the guy to keep him within striking distance. Out towards right center field. Harper right. makes a nice right. running right. catch. Right. Gunnar Henderson right. will hit next. Right. Ball one, no strikes. That's inside. Uh, well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. 3 0 down. There's a swing and a drive. Back there. And that one is out of here. An absolute blast to left. And they had a run. It's 3-0. Mike Yastrzemski up here. He swings and misses at the first pitch. 0-1. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Next offering is fouled back. One down, base is empty. And that one is lifted in the air. Yastrzemski moving under it. Puts the squeeze on that one. That's out number two. Stepping in the long ball threat, Harold the Baines. Harold Baines. Into center. Yastrzemski in position. And that'll do it. We head to the bottom of the second. Vladimir Guerrero Jr. now. Your attention, Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he's made that proud so far in his career. Multiple All-Star appearances. A guy who was born in Montreal way back when, 1999, when his dad was playing for the... Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Gladdy, daddy. Vladimir Guerrero go. Jr. goes deep, and they're chipping away. It's 3-1. Here comes My Mike Yastrzemski to the plate. Yeah, he swings and misses, and it's nothing at all. Singy, how about this, though? A little more than 400 games into his career, Ooh. Vlad Jr. had the exact homer total and OBP as his dad. Oh. It misses, it's a strikeout. Now it's Jose Ramirez. It's a hit. And that'll get down for a hit. And into second with one away, that's a double. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. Oh, and that man, takes a was strong wrist to pull that, that off. Bill Mazeroski swings through it for strike one. Next offering is foul back. Ground ball left side. Henderson over to first in time. And there are two outs. And now here is Harper. Strike one. Ramirez on third with two out. Are you gonna tell me I swung? Tory whips it to first. Harper retired. Oh, yeah. that's, and that's that crazy, is bro. the inning. That's crazy, bro. I, I don't agree with that. Back at T-Mobile Park. Now it's the right fielder, Hunter Renfro. The pitch. 
And downstairs, Duran in his second season. He features a four seam fastball, a splitter, a curve, and he works in a slider. And that's a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. All over that one right there. Nice line drive to the pull side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. So, man aboard. Here's Harper now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. And a foul ball makes the count two and a one. Runner at first with no outs here. Now a mound visit coming. And with the reliever just beginning throwing out there in the bullpen, this should buy a little more time to get him loose. Oh, great stop. Fires to first, and they get the out. Here's the catcher, Joe Torrey. Grounded out his first time. So they turn things over to the righty, Alexis Diaz. And that's a big potential run out there in second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. That one inside, two balls, no strikes. Appears they're working around him with the base open, Singy. Well, you know these 2-0 yeah, counts, the boo. They're just not what they used to be, and we sound like old guys when I say that. But ultimately, this is a strategic game, and you expect to see this type of approach by the pitcher in this situation. To first, play is made, two out. Here is Marcus. Simeon reached on an infield single his first time. And that's Ball. downstairs and outside. Yeah. Strike on the inside corner. And the count is one and one. Good eye right ball. there. Perhaps. Two balls, one no strike. took that. The next pitch misses. Ball. And that's ball three. Three and one. Righty delivers. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Okay. So two on with two away. Keith Hernandez, the next to hit. Now a bullet to second base, but he's got it. Damn. Back here at the ballpark, and up to the plate is Will Smith. Let's go. I'm on that west side, baby. You should already know that. Top of the game with an ounce of that back. Ride through the city in a magic throwback. So they're making a move for a bat off the bench. Rafael Devers. So now a pinch hitter, Randy or Rosarena. The pitch. Hit in the air, right field. Renfro in position, makes the catch, and there's one gone. And now the DH, Cedric Mullins. Maybe expecting a bunt here. Third baseman plenty. Looks like it'll be a pinch hitter, Pete Alonzo. Looking to start something with one gone. Swings and misses. That's strike one. Outside. And one and two. Man, that was pretty gross right there. That was pretty gross right there. Okay, dude. Fuck you. Next pitch misses. And that's ball two. And now the count filled up three and two. And that one hammered Yastrzemski. Ranging back, back some more, and it hits the fence. Alonso into second, and he's got a double. It's Good to time it up any better than that. Anytime you smoke a ball off the wall, you kind of think about what it could have been. But obviously, you have to be happy with that result. 
Now here is Jerry Hairston Jr. That one's in there, 0-1. Damn. One out and a runner at second. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. This one in the dirt. No movement. Now a ball and two strikes. Tying run at the plate. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Hernandez. And they're yeah, down to their last out. Oh. Just not a good pitch to swing at. One reason he's an everyday player is he usually lays off of that jump. Breaks his bat, pops it up. And that'll do it. 3-1 ball game, quick game. We were looking for a little bit more. It seemed at points the offenses were going to break out, but a total of four sides, just a couple of keys.